Yeah, so uh, thanks again for having us. We're really excited. Um, this is actually kind of cool because it's kind of like a little pre-release uh, presentation for us. T tomorrow we're, we're essentially kind of going out there and sounding off to the world that we have the uh, Azure Functions serverless framework plugin. Um, but we wanted to do today just kind of give you guys a quick insight into what we did, and how we did it, and how it's going to work for anyone who wants to leverage the serverless framework when they want to write Azure Functions. So just a quick background about myself. I'm one of the PMs that work on Azure Functions. Um, you, if you follow me on Twitter, you'll get you know, slammed with a bunch of information about Azure Functions. So if you're curious, definitely recommend doing that. Um, I'm a developer on the Azure Functions team, and I'm one of the persons who developed the uh, plugin for serverless framework. Um, so we're going to keep this relatively light. Um, just wanted to give a quick heads up that if you want to get started, it's as simple as just kind of going off and running the serverless install and pointing out our boilerplate. Um, we are going to have a serverless create option, which will have templates in there um, relatively soon. But for now, the, the install feature ends up being one of the easiest ways of getting started. And then you just need to set up credentials. And we kind of have just a, a very simple kind of login uh, steps for you to create those credentials using a service principle to actually do the authentication. This works really well if you're trying to set up some kind of CI process and directly from your CI process deploy to Azure Functions. So from here, we're going to go ahead and dive straight into just demoing what we have and how it works. So let's go ahead and start on deploy. Uh, while that's installing, let's go ahead and take a look at the serverless.yaml. This is the description file that you would provide us to deploy Azure Functions. Um, this is we are following very similar pattern to uh, what how you would deploy your Lambda uh, on uh, on Amazon Web Services. This is a service name. Um, we would create a function applications with this name. Um, we use um, Azure ARM templates. We have uh, Azure has this provision where you could define all the resources you want to create for your function application. To start with, we use a default, um, uh, default ARM template, which, uh, which creates the minimal required resources for your function app. Um, that, and then you could customize on top of it. And this is a, these are the list of functions we, this YAML file specifies, and this is very similar to what what you would specify if you're creating a Lambda function. Uh, name of the function, this is a pointer to the code. And we have added X Azure settings. If you're just using a default, we would default to all the, we have default set up already, and we create a function for you. If you would like to customize, you can go ahead and add more on top of it. Let's see if we created a function. So. Um, these are all the steps. Uh, we create a resource group for you, crea uh, create a function application, and then upload all the functions uh, that are specified in the YAML file. Uh, let's see how it looks here in the Azure portal. And this is the last one. OK, so these are the two functions that we created. Uh, and you could uh, the index.js is where, wh where the code ends up. And function.json, we have a concept called bindings that defines all the resources that the function uses. Um, let's go ahead and invoke. Um, this pops up a, a stre log streaming window, which would give you the invocation logs. Um, and keep it keeps streaming. So we can do the same thing. Uh, we integrated that into the command line, and we could do the same thing here. OK, that's going to start up. OK, so we have invoked um, this function. It's very similar to what we have seen in the website uh, from the Azure portal. Uh, we wanted to show you the streaming logs. Um, do you have? And that one's open if you go to a window in the demo SH. Sorry. 
Yeah. I'm used to Windows, and this is. <laughs> I'm doing. <laughs> And this is one place where Windows doesn't work, and for us, it's <laughs> it's we always have trouble with Mac. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I guess I hope you can you guys can see um, we invoked, and this is uh, on the right. We have the log streaming from the invocation. Yep, let's let's just do it one more time. <laughs> yeah, so um, that's our streaming logs. Um, and apart from that, we, yeah, so you could. <laughs> <laughs> Command <That's> <laughs> C. <laughs> we're gonna have a Mac. That's we're gonna like have a Mac education course on stage here. <laughs> the fingers are just going. <laughs> um, so the remove basically uh, cleans up whatever we created using the serverless YAML. It the resource group is basically a contain container for all the resources for that particular function app. So it does take some time to clean up everything. Um, and we also do have the deploy takes a while because we're creating a lot of resources for you. And we also integrated a command just for when deploying a particular function if you're just updating a code for that particular function. Um, I think that's all for the demo. Um, back to. So just kind of a, a, a quick overview. If you want to check out what we have going on, this uh, is available in the serverless organization under serverless-azure-functions. And we actually have the documentation. It just went live. Um, there might still be the issue if it's not quite showing up in the left nav quite yet, but that should hopefully be resolved by tomorrow. And you can kind of click around here. Kind of one quick way of getting started is by just going over to here and clicking on the quick start that we added. And this we kind of added, it's not, I think it's the first uh, quick start that we've, it's been added to the serverless.com documentation, but it's meant to be the quickest way of kind of getting started all in one go. So hopefully you guys all give it a shot.